Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you are doing great this afternoon. Today, we are going to work on a problem on compounding. So here I go. Says, suppose 1,000 is invested at 5%. Find the balance after eight years under the following options. Part A, compounded annually. So we will first start with part A. Find the um, balance. Balance is same as A as the amount is equal to P plus 1 plus I over N exponent N times T, where A is the amount after T years. I is the annual interest rate in decimal. N is number of compounding periods in a year. Periods in a year. And T is number of years. So part A, P, I forgot to mention here, P is the original amount invested, original investment. So we have P equal to 1000 i is equal to comma i equal to 0 0.05 compounded annually means n equal to 1 and t equal to 8 years so a is equal to 1000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 1 and then 1 times 8 or 1000 times 1.05 raised to the power of 8 and that is equal to we can use our calculator in that case and that is 1000 1, 1477.46 so that is the answer for part A. So answer. Okay. Please do not leave the program right away. Please watch it until the end. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. Subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia where I've solved all kinds of algebra problem inside the playlist algebra problems. So creating some space, we will do part B, compounded quarterly. Compounded quarterly means number of compounding period N equal to four, four quarters in a year four quarters in a year. So this will be, amount will be 1000 times one plus 0 0.05, N is four, and then four, N is four, and time is eight. So we have 1000 times one plus 0 0.05 divided by 4 divided by 4 is 0 0.0125 raised to the power of 4 times 8 is 32 or 1000 times 1 1.0125 exponent 32 and that is equal to we will use our calculator to do that 
multiplied by thousand. And that is 1488.13. So you can see the effect of compounding. You are getting more money at the end of four years than when it is compounded annually. Is your answer for part B? Okay. Now we will create some space and move further up. Next is compounded monthly. So part C is compounded monthly. Monthly means compounding period is 12, 12 months in a year months in a year. So you have A is equal to 1001 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12 and 12 compounding periods in a year and eight years. So this is equal to 1001 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12 is 0 0.004167 and whole thing is raised to the power of eight times 12 is 96. So this is equal to, that's one exponented to 96 and then multiplied with 1000. And that is 1490.59, 1490.59. So here you see a clear picture that as the number of compounding periods in a year expand, your principal at the end of eight years also increases or your amount that you will get back after eight years also increases. Okay, and part D. Is compounded daily. Part D is compounded daily. So part D. Compounded daily means there are 365 days in a year. So N is 365 days in a year. In a year. So this is at the end of eight years is 1000 times one plus 0 0.05 divided by 365 exponented to 365 multiplied with eight. So this is 1000 one plus 0 0.05 divided by 365 is Point zero 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 one three seven, you might say, and eight times three sixty five is twenty nine twenty. So that is equal to one point zero 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 one three seven exponented to. 2920 is equal to multiplied by original investment is 1000 is 1491.84. So when you compound daily, you will get the largest amount of money back after eight years. So far.
answer. And part E, if I take a look, I believe it is compounded continuously. Yes, compounded. Con There's a different formula for compounded continuously. And that formula is part E is compounded continuously. Continuously. Formula is AT is equal to principal multiplied by E to the power of I times T. So in our case, A in ATS will be equal to Principle is same, 1,000. Then E is the natural number, which is 2.718. And I is 0 0.05. And the time is multiplied by 8. So this is equal to 1,000 multiplied by the natural number E raised to the power of 0 0.4. And that is equal to so in most of the calculator, if you, there's a E function, so second and ln in my case will give me E function and that is 0.4 exponent. So natural number 2.718 raised to the power of 0.4 multiplied by 1000. And that is 1491.82. So the best bet is to compound the money continuously. Then you get an exponential growth. This is the answer. So I wanted to give you an important tip at the end of this program. So Notice I have used the formula P is equal to, sorry, A is equal to P times 1 plus I divided by N exponented to N times T. A is the money at the end of T years of investment. P is the original principle, original money invested. The mistake what, where people make is I is an interest rate in decimal. So if it is 5%, it will be 0.05. N is the compounding period in a year. T is the number of years. Important thing to remember, I is the interest rate in decimal. Okay, not 5, it's 0 0.05. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like your, this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, where inside the playlist Algebra Problems, I've solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. So please subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll be back next time with another algebra problem, another solution. So please do not forget to watch this channel again tomorrow and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching take care have a nice day see you tomorrow